You see this? Don't you want it? Mm -mm. Good morning from our beautiful hotel called The Dugout here in lovely Buena Vista. We actually slept pretty well last night. Sometimes when I stealth camp, I can't really relax because I think I'm going to get busted by somebody. But uh, it all worked out. Good morning, bud. How you feeling? Feeling great. Hey, bada, 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 swing, bada. <laughs> Thank you to the Buena Vista, whatever you are. What do you say we go ride bikes, but in opposite directions? <laughs> Someday we'll go the same direction, I promise. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm glad we got to connect, man. It's been a lot of fun hanging with you. And uh, best of luck on your journey. You too, bud. Yeah. You too. You got the fun part coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I'm so excited. Best of luck on the second half, man. Thank you, you buddy. This. Have a good one. Enjoy it. Onward. Let's do it. So today is calling for rain, which I'm not excited about. And they say on bikepacking.com that this section from Buena Vista to Silverton is the most difficult section by far. So, it's going to be an adventure. There's also no supplies, no resupply for the next four days. So my bike is loaded with lots of food and of course a can of beans. Whew! No crashies, no flatties, no whammies! So the mountains I'm looking at right now are called the Collegiate Peaks. They are all 14,000 foot mountains. And I have to admit, I'm a little nervous about these next four days. Everybody has told me that it's very hard and there's no resupply. I don't think I've ever been on a tour with four days of no resupply. It's about 200 miles from here to Silverton. Probably gonna be four days. Even in Baja, there were some desolate stretches, but never four full days without food or the ability to charge batteries. So I'm gonna have to be, I'm gonna have to ration my food and ration my camera batteries. Goodbye, Buena Vista. Here's your Spanish lesson of the day. Buena Vista means good view. Makes sense, right? Okay, that was quite a climb out of BV. Went up 2,000 feet of elevation in just nine miles. I am back on the Colorado Trail. Time to go up. Oh boy. That's some up. Oh boy. Beautiful in here. Tell you what. Yeah. How's it going? <laughs> yeah. So I was focused on not falling into the creek, and then I see this woman ahead of me on a bike, and it's Liz. What's up? Hi. How you doing? So what are you doing out here? I uh, originally started out to do an FKT northbound, and it's turned into an FFS northbound. <laughs> what does FFS mean? For, can I say it? Sure. For fuck's sake. <laughs> okay, gotcha. <laughs> uh, I've been walking my bike for three days straight. I ran out of food a day ago. I uh, got rained on, spent the night in a uh, pit toilet last night to stay warm. It was actually pretty nice. And hopefully get to Buena Vista and get real food. Yeah, but you're loving and it. Look at that smile. <laughs> <laughs> Very chapped lip smile. <laughs> yeah. <But> yeah. <laughs> what inspires you to do hard stuff like this? I don't know. I like it. It's yeah, fun. It's fun. I feel better afterwards about myself. So. Yeah, I hear you. It's definitely type two fun where you feel a lot better afterwards than in the moment. <laughs> So what am I looking at going up this way? Then it's just going to keep getting rockier and rockier and rockier and rockier until there's so many rocks that you'll be walking 
for a long time. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I wish you the best of luck, my friend. <laughs> Boom! That was really fun meeting her. I said, you got it easy all the way in a BV. And she's like, you don't have it easy. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. So here I am riding the Mount Princeton Road, which is very nice and fast. And I found a couple ladies fixing bikes on the side of the road. What are your names? Emily and Lauren. <laughs> Lauren, yeah. and you're riding the whole thing? We yeah. are, the whole thing. The whole thing, you loving it? Loving it. Yeah. What's been the best part? Oh man, <laughs> probably the I'm views. Like yeah. And I'm then getting a bed sometimes. <laughs> Not gonna lie, the hot springs. <laughs> the hot springs. You stayed at the hot yeah. springs last night in the rainstorm? We did. That's we pretty did. smart. That's pretty yeah. smart. How much was that hotel room? Uh, <laughs> too much. Too much. It was like much. 150 a pop. Oh yeah. Well, it was a weak moment. But look at those smiles. Look how happy you are because of it. You got we the shower. Smell good. You smell good. You do. I'm noticing your shins look like my oh, shins. Oh yes, yes. They there's. Look... Oh wait, there's more. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. So what inspired you to do this? Um. I would say I hiked the trail a couple years ago and I missed that experience. Um, so the people you meet doing something hard, even though we're staying in hotels every <laughs> once in a while. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah, I just like pushing myself and doing badass stuff and yeah. <laughs> trying to be more badass. Than I, yeah. I don't know, just pushing myself and yeah. the yeah. beauty out here. Yeah. So. How, uh, how long is this going to take? How long do you hope? Um, uh, Supposed to be done July 24th. Sweet, yeah. right yep. on. Yeah. So, and yeah. I notice you have full suspension bikes. Yes! No, that is awesome. Yeah. Is. You're traveling pretty light. I like the kush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And where are you from? Colorado, Colorado Springs. Springs. Oh, you're Colorado yeah. girls. What's up? Ooh, well, I yeah. wish you the best of luck out there. Bam, Thank you. bam. Thank you. And take good care of those yes, shins. Yes! I, I know. noticed that your shins look great. I know, beautiful. <laughs> What's the difference? I wreck more. <laughs> so we're riding together a little bit, and I'm like, Is it, have you ever gone bikepacking before? And what's your answer? No. No. <laughs> this is quite the test for your first one. Yeah. You gotta start out right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. We're doing it. We're yeah, doing you it. are. <laughs> Back to hiking. I'm trying to ride this stuff, but. This is too steep and too rocky. <clears throat> and boy, my legs are feeling it. Six days of hard pushing. And uh, yeah, they're tired. My whole body's tired. <sighs> I really enjoyed meeting those two ladies back there. They had really good energy. They just out to have a good time and have a very powerful bonding experience together. And that's awesome. Oh God. Oh boy. This is what we call fun, right? But the views are usually always worth the push. Check it out. Wow. wildflower break and these ones are purple and gold the colors 
of my high school, the BHS Panthers. Stopping and checking out the flowers always just calms me down a little bit. Just brings the blood pressure down. Nature has a way of doing that. You ready to watch and hear me grunt a whole bunch? More hike a bike. <laughs> you know, I really appreciate this. Check this out. The Colorado Trail is very well marked. You pretty much don't need GPS telling you where to go because they have these signs on every other tree, it seems like. <laughs> ah, it's good for peace of mind knowing you're going the right way. So I stopped here to get some water, and then I met some really nice hikers, and also their dogs. Hello. How's it going, buddy? So what's it like traveling with a dog? You know, it's a lot of fun. There are some challenges, and you have to really watch out for their health and stuff like that. Um, but it's yeah. been a blast to have him alone. This is Bear Dog. Bear Dog. Mr. You, Bear Dog. And you cuddle with him every night? Oh, absolutely. He yeah. sleeps in the sleeping bag with me. In it? Uh, pretty much. <laughs> It gets a little packed sometimes, but he likes being on top of my pads. So. Yeah. And how's your, your walk been? It's been fantastic. It's been beautiful. I mean, the weather has held out for the most part. We've seen a few storms, but when we were in the high country, it's been clear. These guys have been doing well. We kind of take it slow for them and make sure that their paws are feeling good and everything. You know, we all get blisters and yeah. they, you know, they, they have to work hard alongside us. So. It's yeah. tricky traveling with dogs, but it's a lot of fun. And how many miles a day do you do? You know, it really depends. Some of our biggest days have been almost 20. Um, and then, like, these last four days, Bear's paws have been a little rough, so we've been keeping our days under 10. Oh, Bear. Yeah. How are those paws doing, buddy? You're such a sweetie. <laughs> and then where's the other one? Hi, Spring. Come here. Spring. Oh, there's the other one. Hi. Oh, you're friendly. <laughs> oh, you're rowdy. Hey. Oh, it feels so good to pet a dog. It feels so good to pet a dog's butt. All right, well, I wish you all the best on your travels. Thank you. It was a pleasure meeting you. Yeah, you too. And have fun with the doggies. Have a wonderful time on trail. went down. No one-handed riding. I think this is the quietest moment I've had in a long time. Not just on the trail, but in life. No wind, no airplanes, nothing. Complete silence. You know, I thought that being out here would hurt my training for the Leadville 100 running race, not biking race. But I'm hiking a lot, so this is actually probably very good training for that race. About a month away from pain cave to pain cave. This has been a big summer. It's coming down now. I was hoping I could dodge the rain but doesn't seem like it Whew. the one positive to this it's not hot and i didn't have to put on sunscreen today it's always a positive right thank you tree 
for blocking 90% of the rain. I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit. It is raining pretty hard out there. Thank you, tree. Yeah, baby! So it's been about an hour and a half since that last shot you saw. I put the cameras away and just pedaled and pushed. And here I am still pushing. The rain is letting up, which is nice, uh, but not the hills. The hills are not letting up. That's something that doesn't change here. <laughs> They're here forever. I'm still grinding. Today is definitely a tough one where you're digging deep and you're uh, trying to psych yourself up and think about things that make you happy because this is a hard one. And this rain is making it obviously more difficult and slippery and the downhills are sketchy. All the rocks and roots are slippery so it's easy to fall. So I'm really just taking it, taking it pretty slow. And uh, that's all right. Sometimes you have to do that. came around the corner here and I could hear something in the distance and there's a pack of <laughs> dogs going nuts. We just shouldn't have wolves over here so I doubt it's wolves. Maybe it's chupacabra, I have no idea but it sounds kind of haunting. So it's 5.30, I've gone about 42 miles, I've already climbed over 7,000 feet, and I am just exhausted, so I'm just going to ride a little bit more, poco a poco mas, and then find a place to camp and pass out. <laughs> Look at my legs. Every day they get a little bit more trashed. <laughs> that's all right. I guess that's how they're supposed to look. It means they're doing their job. You see this? This is the gold standard for beans, the Amy's Organic. And you don't even need a can opener, you just pry them right open. And I have been dreaming about these beans all day. I'm starving. It was a hard day and he's gonna make it so much better. And I have a great campsite, check it out. Got my tent right there. Got my bike right there. There's a river over the way, all tucked into the trees. No view tonight, but that is okay. Mm -mm. When you earn 
your food. It tastes so good. Mm. Who would have thought that some woman named Amy would make the best refried beans in a can? Top notch. All gone. It says here there's about 3.5 servings per container. I don't think so. More like one serving for one doozer. Boy, did my bike get dirty today. But nothing penetrates the pinion gearbox. You know how fast I fall asleep after a day like today? This fast. <sniffs> Buenas noches. <laughs>